two, three, four, five. I wanted to have something to lose weight because I was a little overweight. It's hard for him in our family where you've got all these older siblings who have done some cool things. And Hannah performed a couple times and put that on the wall. My daughter Sarah climbed a couple really tall mountains. And then Josh one time went rock climbing and climbed up this uh, mountain straight up. And if you do something hard or amazing, you get to be on the wall. And I don't have any of these, so I'm trying to get one soon because I'm working hard. He was never as good at basketball as Josh and Sarah. He could never sing or play the piano like Hannah. And he always struggled to find what he was really good at. And so, um, you know, we try to be supportive of him and try to help him discover what he's really good at. When I searched good, strong, big guys for good role models, and then he was one of them. I was a little taken aback that Caleb chose The Rock as his role model because the Rock is usually kind of this very gregarious, loud um, character. But the more that I kind of did a little bit of research on my own and I saw how Caleb had such good self-discipline, I was fine with him choosing The Rock as a role model. So I tried on eating sugar because it's really unhealthy, but vegetables are good. He just wanted to try to emulate you know, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. And so that's when he said, I'm going to go on my no sugar diet for one month. And we didn't think he could do it, but he actually did really well, and he did for a full night. Yeah, we were pretty impressed. I just do the plank for as long as I can, and then I try to beat that by at least, like, at least 10 seconds. And then after that, then I do as many push-ups as I can. And then after that, then I do sit-ups, and then I sometimes, if it's not as hot, then I run around the block. I searched on the computer what was the best thing for losing weight, and it said kickboxing, so then I just punched my punching bag. <laughs> he gets extremely shy. Um, if he doesn't know these people, he's so shy and quiet and silent that people think that he doesn't even talk. But that's totally not him. When you know him or when he's around people, he knows he's like the most gregarious, loquacious kid there is, and he's super hyper. So it's kind of funny to see the extremes um, of his personality. I have lost my front teeth. <laughs> He has all these amazing dreams, so he, I love it when he tells his dreams. They want me to be a professional football player, and I sort of do also. Well, in football, I mean, I don't expect him to become an NFL player or anything like that. I know he says he wants to be an NFL player, but we know how difficult that is. I hope that uh, as Caleb continues to play football, that first of all, he can be healthy and not get injured. And I hope that he'll always try his best. And if he tries his best, I hope that he's successful, meaning that he plays hard and does well. Like, I want to be stronger than The Rock when I grow up. But then my parents said it doesn't matter. It just matters if you have a good life. These little baby steps when he's young, um, you know, are really important for him so that when he's older, he knows, you know, what he, what he really needs to do to accomplish a goal. It's hard for him in our family where You've got all these older siblings who have done some cool things. It's hard to like feel like you're doing a good job, but I think he's doing a great job, and I'm really proud of him. And I think he has a really bright future. And I think out of all the kids, he probably has the best sense of humor. I